I sat down for my first family adventure painting miniatures. Just the dad, a board game, and his kids. I never expected what was about to happen. Definitely something that I will treasure for a long time and something that I wanted to share with you today on Legendary Tactics. I gifted my nine and 11 year olds some craft paint and an assortment of brushes for Christmas so we could make this video together on painting miniatures. Before I knew it, my 14 year old was fully on board with the idea as well. So the four of us, after scanning a few videos on YouTube, on painting, realized we needed some primer and clear coat. So we crashed Walmart. We got home and picked the game we wanted to paint, My Little Scythe. With the great painting guides and minis that seemed not too big, not too small size, I thought the idea perfect. Grabbing our minis one by one, we picked our favorite looking characters. Or in my case, I went for the airship from the Pie in the Sky expansion. I just couldn't resist. I gave each a shot of primer, let it dry for the requisite hour, and we set off to work. A couple of rules were stressed as we started though. First, the less is more concept when it came to applying the paint, which they seemed to pick up pretty quickly. Next was, have a lot of light to help see where you need to paint, and lastly, don't feel like you need to have the final coat on the first pass. I'm sure there are plenty more rules, but those were the three we started with. Painting went great for my first two kids who sat down. Although my son botched the eye on his character, and so thinking quickly, he turned it into a pirate patch. Full marks for ingenuity. After Captain Eye Patch was finished, so was my son. And although he only did one character, I could tell he was immersed and thoroughly caught up in the experience. My nine-year-old, however, after her first, was just getting started. She quickly reached for another character and kept at it. My 14-year-old, after being distracted by lunch, gave me time to start working on my airship. I thoroughly enjoyed the process of working on my mini. I was amazed at the amount of focus and steady hand it required. I was called away for lunch and on coming back to continue my airship is where things started to unravel in an unexpected and amazing way. There, sitting on my airship, painting away at to her heart's content was my 16 year old. Her comment to me as I walked over was, hey, you're painting, this is totally my thing. I started to tell her it was for a video and quickly stopped. I had my 16 year old at the table and fully immersed in a board game related activity. I wasn't gonna ruin this. My 14 year old came down next and was doing his best on his mini. And although getting a little frustrated, he and I worked together on one we were both proud of. Meanwhile, my nine year old never left the table. I think she painted four minis by the end of it. As I was finishing up with my 14 year old's painting, I was shocked when I looked up to see my six year old daughter who's been fighting off pneumonia of late wander over to the table and ask if she could try. This was unbelievable. Of course, we had her painting within seconds and she was fully engaged, so much so that in fact, she painted a second one. Lastly, and most surprising of all, was when my 18 year old and four year old came in to see what all the fuss was about because they had heard us having a great time. Before I could blink twice, they were at the table with brushes in hand and minis at the go. I had all my children engaged in painting minis and it was awesome. It's the first time ever that I can think of that I had my kids ages four to 18 all fully immersed at the same time in the same gaming activity and it might just be the best board game related experience I've ever had. I'm thankful for a couple things though. One, that we had enough brushes to go around. Two, that we had enough minis to go around. Three, I'm thankful for the large fan we had in the garage because I didn't realize that clear coat application rules require it being used outdoor. Oopsies. In the end, we painted every mini in the board game and the airship to boot. We did experience one mini casualty though as one of the characters lost the base, making this set all the more personalized. And after the original set of four that got primed, the rest were painted as is with no primer. So were these minis perfectly done compared to the painting guides? Heck no. In fact, some of them are almost unrecognizable. But is this a game that I will now keep forever? Heck yes. The memories my little scythe brought me and hopefully to my kids today are memories that will last a lifetime. And I think what board game is at its purest really about. So what are you waiting for? Get out there, get gaming, and be legendary.